Man, we all here. Long you feel little way. You know what I mean? Long little way. Long man. little way, dog. Positive. You feel me? Positive energy always. Real ways. G clock. You know what I mean? Come to my backyard. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's up for my man? He was just a great vibe. When they all come over, he would just respect me. Dreamy ass family, so it was really cool. He was a good guy. I'm digging him, man. RP, my boy, your energy was that. He was just a fun dude, man. He was always on the trail, and that's all. You know, he was just a turn up king, man. Every time if you want to go to a party, he was your wingman. That's the type of guy he was. <laughs> So before we started, we just wanted to let you know that we love you. We love Najee, that's our friend. To me, that's my best friend, that's my brother. Love him with all my heart. Man. Yeah, let it out, bro. <clears throat> and this for him. This for him. Uh, we wanted to show you that even though you guys are in Atlanta, we're in New Jersey. This is where all his friends are. And um, we wanted to show you that, you know, you're not grieving alone. We're all feeling this right now. We all came out to support. You know, and we just wanted to show um, solidarity. Show that we're with you. And thank you again, all of you guys. And it day. One thing I could ask y'all, and y'all can all answer, is how many times have y'all seen Najee angry? Never, my boy. Who else had a smiley face? Really? For real? Nah. Look, 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 come on, he's smiling right there. Come on. He's greasy. Y'all greasy, y'all lag. What? Yeah. Come on, yeah. say yeah. Yeah. So, you know. What I always say is, um, why, why not keep it positive, right? If he could, if he did that for us every time, I, I could just walk to this, walk to him, and he would just smile and uh, you know, just get my energy up. So, if we could take something off from him, we could keep it positive at least. So try to, try to. Anything you get from, I know people lost people here, but. Anything y'all could get from him is positivity. Okay? Yes, sir. And that's what we need to carry on. If we want to keep his name alive. Yeah, when we met uh, <laughs> up the street from my house, I remember this guy with a blue and orange Jordan jacket and an afro. And I was just like, yo, why you look like that? <laughs> he used to never say nothing. It's like, if you know not G right, when. So when pressure's on him, he start looking clueless. He don't look at nobody. He be like, you know? So he just looking clueless. I'm like, yo, bro, you gonna say something? And then he was just like, my name Najee, it is. So, you know. And that's that's where that's where it all started. That's where it all started. Like the whole my name Najee, hello, how you doing? That's how it all started. Uh, back in high school before the dreads, uh, we both started waves together. I'm talking about, it's like we was about to like, we like going to a wedding or something. We in the bathroom brushing. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta brush this out more, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was my brother, man. That was my brother. Like, I love him to death. We did everything together from parties. People know. People know from parties. Like, he used to always look at me. I'm talking about, I could be tired. I'm gone. Like, I'm like, right, let me take a breath. He'll look at me. Saint, look me up, bro. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm proud to serve him. Because he liked being a center of attention, so that's what I always gave him. I gave him nothing but the best, 100% all the time. You know? It 
it leaves a hole in my heart to know that I'm never gonna hear from you again. After we just spoke, the call's like three o'clock in the morning when I'm working on the computer. He will call me. I'm like, how you know I'm up? He said, I know you, bro. Like, and I told him every time he come back from party, always give me a call because where he party is one hour away. He live in a, a town called Lawrenceville. Atlanta is one hour away. So he would literally take an hour drive to go there. And we all know long hour drives, especially after partying, it's bound something could happen. So I always tell him, give me a call no matter what time. I don't care if I got work in the morning, just give me a call. I don't want you to fall asleep. And shout out to Jed Ross. Some of you guys may know him. I told him to keep an eye out on Najee because not, you know, when you move to a new town, you don't have nobody for you. And since we all grew up together in West Orange, he did that for me. Uh, the first guy I met Najee, it was in East Orange at the old Tyson. BLD. Yeah, BLD man. days, baby. I'm talking about the party circle. And you know me, I used to be wilding. So, <laughs> so I see this guy, shiny face, bald head a little bit. We try to battle me. You know, everybody know who did. I'm like, what? Come on. Let's get right. Mm -hmm. Nah, man. So we went to BLD. Then I worked with him. I said Barnabas for three years. So for me, it was another bond that we had. Drive me to work every time. I bring him around my way. Uh, but after that, I got the call from If and then I called B to see what's going on. So I just had to show love. And I, and I, know, I know your face. I remember you. What's up, mommy? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, Love you, my boy. Yeah. So, honestly, like, Najee, we all know Najee, right? And you know Najee, if you see him, like, I ain't gonna hold you. Najee wasn't one of my best of friends, but that was a friend. That was a close friend. Like, if you know Najee, he show everybody love. Everybody love. And one thing that I seen in Najee every single time I saw my boy, like, hey, yo, Will, why are you so fly, man? <laughs> <laughs> And he will never let me live it down, right? Uh, and Najee, like, full of energy, like, no matter where you see him at. And, and it's like, Najee, you, like, same, same, partying. My boy always partying. Where you always find Najee at? You feel in the middle of the circle, the circle, circle top too. Somebody has. You know Najee's out here <laughs> bugging. I got you again. And we seen the videos from Miami. Don't get me fooled. My boy was out here. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter which state you win, Najee was being himself. And that's all you can ask for from people in his life is to you just be yourself no matter where you at and where you from. And it's like it's so sad that it had to happen to somebody like him. You don't wish that upon nobody else. And I just want everybody to just learn from the situation and just be happy in life and realize that, like, you live to be happy in life. And that money and all this other and power and all that doesn't mean anything. Because if you go through your life getting money and having power, you might not be happy. But if you live your life and you're happy, nobody can stop you. And at the end of the day, I can say one thing in Najee, he was always happy and he lived his life to the fullest even though he got taken out early and we can't control that. So if there's one thing you take from Najee, like my brothers right here said, it's to hold no regrets and to just be happy and not think about anybody else's situations and focus on yourself and, and just enjoy stay what positive. we have here and stay positive. Because at the end of the day, we all have long lives ahead of us and you don't know what's in store with for anybody. But if you could just do your part and support each and everybody else, everything will come back to you. He lived a full life. You see how many souls he touched, you know what I'm saying? And what do we have from it, you know what I'm saying? Like you're saying, we have a woman that murdered our brother. And we can't say nothing to her because she's in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to wish Death pen like I said it earlier, I'm not gonna lie, I, I hope she got booked on at her, but now that I think about it, that's she wrong. Faced the repercussions already. She's gonna get what she, she deserves it, at the end of the day. Yeah. But, she got the guilt but, of killing some yeah, actually, But at the end of the day, you wanna wish the best upon everybody. everybody. So I hope right. that God touches her in a way actually. that she realizes what she did and she feels it as well. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want her to be 
on some shit like mourning through her whole life like we just want God to touch her like he's touched Naji and touched everybody here you know what I'm saying with the presence and I just want everybody to realize that this isn't a time to be sad this is a time to be happy and celebrate, celebrate the life of life. a brother Absolutely. you know what I'm saying so it's we look up to the sky like every day you look up you're gonna see Naji anytime you do something you're gonna see Naji you're gonna hear Naji you might not think of it at the time but Naji is with all of us right, you know what right, I'm saying right, right. So everybody just celebrate life and be happy for our brother that was here and just be happy that he gave us what he gave us while he was here. Amen. So um, I'm best friends with his brother Jordan and every single time I'd FaceTime Jordan, Najee always got on the camera, it was like Wagwan, Sam, Wagwan, like all the time and that always lifted my spirits, even when it was like I was really upset, always made me happy. So. I've been Najee since like 2010. Um, we dated on and off, but regardless of the relationship, we were always friends. It used to be me, David, Stefan, Dwayne, like, in high school, we was lit. Remember <laughs> you already? you, remember you. <laughs> And I just recently seen him in February in Atlanta, and I told him I was mad at him. Because, you know, we speak, you know, here and there, but I didn't know he was moving. And then um, he didn't tell me. So when I went to Atlanta the first time, he told Ashanti, like, oh, how come Lauren didn't hit me up? I said, I'm mad at you because you ain't tell me you was moving. And then he seen me and then he just gave me a hug and he was like, I'm here now, you know. And he supported me and I had a baby and he loves my baby and he always talked to me. And we went to the same church. So I want to say hi to his mom and his dad. Um, he waved back. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> you know, we went to the same church. He was the drummer boy. <laughs> He don't want nobody to know that. He used to be drumming. I'm like, you a little off pitch, but it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, he was just such a positive person. And I honestly still don't feel like this is real. And I'm going to keep that. Because I know he just, like, he just smile a lot. Like, he's just a, even when he made me mad, he, Lauren, I'm like, man, you know, you smiling. I just want everybody to know, like, he loved his friends. Like, our last conversation, he always tell me, like, he loved his life. He loved being happy, so you know, I'm trying to be happy too. So. Amen. God is here to celebrate you guys and be there for you since we can't be there physically for you. So, I like that. Show it to the people. I like you know Najee because him and my sister used to date when we were much, much younger. You know Najee. Y'all know her better than y'all know. Yeah, we know her. Yeah, yeah, so, we know. Najee to me was like my big brother. Like, very first time I met him, I probably was helping my sister sneak him in and out the house. <laughs> and he was the only person I knew who could sit there in front of my father, who's very scary, and still have a smile on his face. Like, he didn't just get caught in somebody, somebody's daughter's house. <laughs> But to him, like, for as much as we didn't speak, for as much as I didn't know about him or he didn't know about me, every time I saw him, it was like family. It really, really was. And he's probably the only person that we could go years and years without seeing each other. And I just walk past him and it's walk on, like, you know? It's all love, truly, truly, honestly. I've watched him and my sister go through so much. And I have been one of the people that got to see him a little upset. <laughs> it's really through him. But, he bounced back so quickly every time, no matter what he was going through. He always had positive energy and light for everybody. And I'm very happy I got to look up to him as I grew up. I really am. Damon, uh, my name is Damon. I met Najee in high school. Uh, I would say I was probably in ninth grade or 10th grade. And I didn't know Najee. And so I knew Najee didn't know me. But every time I saw Najee, he would just gas me up. Like, oh, yo, it's good. Yeah. And I was like, who's this person just being so kind for no reason? And that would make my day better. And that would make me get through my classes and me be able to do what I have to do. So, but Najee just being a kind person, it had an impact on my day. And also it had an impact on my life. Right. And so, I think an example that we can take from Najee is the example of impact and how he's impacted all of us collectively, how he's impacted us as individuals and how we can impact each other and everybody that we come across. We're not perfect people, we're not gonna be able to do it every day, but he was someone that was consistent, consistently impactful. And I believe that, you know, that's that's love in his heart and that's love that comes from God. And so I want to say thank you to Najee 
for sharing his love for himself, his love for God, and his love for life with other people to give them a little more love for the same thing. And you know, when we go home today, when, we, when we're, we're done with this, and we're back to regular real life and normal everyday things, um, I just hope that everyone, along with myself, does try, like Will said, to just practice that impact of positivity, of loving yourself, of loving others. Because when I met Najee, like I said, I was a stranger, and he didn't have to do that, and I was appreciative of it. And so we can all do the same thing. And um, I just want to say thank you to his family, because he's really awesome. So he was obviously raised very well. And thank you to his friends for putting us together. Um, young love for him shows how much like, he loves y'all. Um, and I think that's a beautiful and really dope thing. And that's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, I definitely love and appreciate Najee. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Jay. Uh, <laughs> Me and Najee, we was jokesters. Like, he met me, and I, I saw him with a dude in the hallway in high school with, like, spikes on, like, spikes boots. And I was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, and then he saw me with some jeans that had, like, colorful, all types of colors, because back then I was, I was wearing a whole bunch of different stuff. <laughs> and he's like, what are those too? I was like, I don't know, bro. And he said, but you missed the fly, though, right? And I was like, all right, but then, then you know, we used to just, every time we see each other, just give each other compliments, so that's how I, I grew friendship with him. And then I met other friends too, uh, from Najee and stuff. And that picture right there was the last day I saw my, my friend. And then, the other day, I was on the, watching the news, and my mom was like, you see this big accident, you see this big accident that happened and stuff? And then I was like, Mom, this my action is every day and everything like that. And then uh, uh, she said, no, but this truck, he hit this guy and stuff. And then, you know, my mom's Haitian, so she's making it like a big thing. Like, oh, oh my God, wait. <laughs> and then and then I'm like, okay, Mom, I got to go to work and this and that. And then I saw a post on a work, I was on IG saying Najee and this and that. And then friends saying this lady said that this to this boy and then the truck. And then I was like, and I was like, Mom, is, do you say the person was named Najee something? She said, yeah, yeah, something like that. Clark, Clark, I was like, Clark? Najee who? And then I next to see it hit me, I broke down at work. Uh, I started crying and this and that, and then uh, um, I fainted it too, cause I was, I was really close to Najee and stuff. And then he always wanted to see me, but you know, we all live lives, so I can't really see everybody, and everybody can't see everybody all the time. It's a good thing that we all see each other, and stuff like that, so just keep in mind, we should always keep each other close. And the only thing I got from Najee, what I learned from Najee is to be happy, you know, be kind. Embrace that love for everybody. Mm. And I love you, my friend, to your parents. I only did my waves for you. Since high school, my hair was straight. I couldn't get no waves. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, D, what's up with you? I don't know, my man. <laughs> now I'm a jump beast, you hear me? <laughs> I can't show right now. I can't show right now, but you know. I don't want to embarrass you, Jay. I'm, as he should, you know he right there? <laughs> As he, you know he do, he's like, mm. <laughs> Oh man, Mr. Clark. Um, this is Natalie. This is one of his best friends, literally. You know, met at high school, became best friends in uh, college, and continued on. You know, when she heard the news, she was actually in Atlanta and she went towards the parents' house. How you guys doing? This is Natalie. Y'all yeah, remember her. Um, and, you know, one of the strongest bonds because. A lot of talking, a lot of ups and downs occurred between the three of us solely, too. So, you know, I just, we, we had to pay our respects um, and yeah, just show love and whatnot, so. Day of highlight, that picture right there. Um, so, yeah. I was so we, so we So we got, we got lit together, we got lit together, we got there and he ended up getting too drunk and then he fell over the banister and then, oh my God. you know, he, he busted his face off. Yeah, Carla, because I was in the banister. And <laughs> when he went to the hospital, they was claiming that he caught like a little seizure in the beginning. And when I got there, they said that he's breathing, but he's not waking up. Like he's just like, he's not, he's out cold. So they say he was out cold probably for like two to three hours. Um, I actually, I snuck in the room. Uh, a lot of said like the Spanish 
police officer let me in, blah, 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 was Najee Clark. So they let me in the room. I got there, and I just see, like, his face, like, dried up blood everywhere. It was just, like, it just looked like a murder scene. It was just bad. And when a lady walked by, she was like, oh, are you a relative? I said, yeah, that's my cousin. And then when she left, I'm trying to wake him up. He's not waking up. So then I said a prayer. And then I literally grabbed his hand. I said, damn, bro, you rocking. <laughs> I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I kid you not. He smirked. He, he was like, yo, chill. And then when he woke up, he was just like all over the place. Like he's slurring his words. He can't barely talk. He just, and he's everywhere. The, the nurse, like the doctor or whatever was just like, Saying, are you okay? He's like, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, where are we going next? Like, he just talking crazy. <laughs> and after that day, he was just like, yo, bro, I don't remember anything except for when you said I'm rocking. <laughs> and then that's when I just knew. I'm just like, yo, like, like I know, like, that's like my brother. Like, if you could, like, wake up from the, like, the voice, like, you hear my voice and you just wake up after everybody tried for three hours, and I had to say just one word for you to wake up, it's just like, I know, like, Thank you, somebody important. Well, we all know what that right, Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Reggie. Um, me and Aji, you know, we were really cool. And I first met him freshman year of high school. I was trying out for the step team. Mind you, my freshman year of high school, I did not look like this. So, like, like see what I'm saying? <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rock. So, like, Rock. when Rock. I first meet Aji, I think he chilling with uh, Derek, and like two other heads that I just did not know. So like, I know Derek off the step team, so me being a young freshman, I'm on the step team, I run up to Derek, yo, what's up? <clears throat> like, you feel me? I dab him up immediately. Now G look at me, cause you know, I ain't have the best clothes on. So he look at me, Next step back, put his shades down, yeah. grab his mouth. He go, what you got on? <laughs> Mind you, when he said that, I was baffled. Like, I had no response. You know, he had the leather jacket on. He had the skinny jeans, the, the, the fresh Nikes. I couldn't say nothing. So, but he just starts going at me like, oh, you, you want a step team and your lips dry? Okay, right? You feel me? I had to, I had to hit him with the mm, real quick. Everybody, everybody doing this. Everybody looking at me. That's the first one. Ever since, ever since that day, me and Najee, man, it's like, niggas are close to a party, and I'm also a dancer as well. So when I'd be dancing, it's like he'd gravitate towards my energy, or vice versa. I'd walk into the party, he'd be in the middle of the circle, and I wouldn't even know what the middle of the circle was. But next thing you know, I'm in the middle of the circle, gassing him up, trying to get in there next. Man, that energy was just amazing, because it's like, he lived with that energy, whether it was in a party, in a classroom, at home, uh, uh, chilling in the basement at one of the homies' cribs, or just going to the store. Always had that positive energy. Always had that positive, never talked about how he disliked somebody or how he never, wanted never. somebody down or something like that. Nah, if somebody did him wrong, all right. Yeah, he'd talk about how somebody did him wrong, he but then it's like, with, with him, it would be after he spoke about it, <laughs> next day in life. And I love that about that man. It, it, it kind of hurts me that he had to be taken away from us so early, but God does everything for a reason. So if it was his calling to us, we may not understand it, but he's up there sitting next to God watching all of us, probably crying right now as we all gather to tell our stories and make our jokes. So I want everybody, you know, keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. See what I'm saying? And just know that physically Najee is gone, but mentally and spiritually, he's still with us all. Right. You're my story, Wayne. Wayne, 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 Wayne,
Joe and Najee. Right. So, first time I met him was when uh, he came to my house to see my brother, brother Dave. And I was coming from the park, and then I seen like this shiny ass dude on the street. I'm like, yo, who is this, this shiny dude? And then he came over and he said the same. He was like, yo, my name Najee. Like, yo, what's good? And he was like, yo, is Dave home? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go get him. I spoke to my brother, I'm like, yo, who's this shiny dude wearing <laughs> cargo shorts, Hollister, Bryce's shirt, man. Yeah. 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 And from then on, from high school, like, we was chilling and shit, going to parties and everything. And from then on, like, I always learned, he taught me to just stay positive and everything. And, you know, from then on, we just party all the time. Right? Oh, my mother, my dad's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been close like this, you know, we've been through a lot of trouble and shit, but you know, I always just learned that you gotta stay positive. Thank you, know, my condolences. But I ain't really know him like that, but whenever I see him in the hallways, you know, it was always love. You feel me? Always good vibes, all that. And if if he can reach all these people right here, you feel me, y'all can do the same thing. So now I want to just spread love, you feel me, just, just live his legacy. You feel me? Respect his name, and just spread love. Yes, sir. I can say on behalf of everybody here, like, thank you, mom and dad, for like raising a credible human being that like touched all our hearts in different ways. And he's just always high spirited. He always had like always positive attitude when you saw him. Like, you cannot keep a frown on your face with not cheer around. Like, no matter how pissed off you could be, you could be pissed off at him. He gonna make some type of joke and make it okay some type of way. And if you really pissed off at him and y'all really, like, really not just vibing, he'll walk away from the situation and he'll be like, I'll call you, call you tomorrow, I'll text you that night. We'll make sure we good, we okay, before you lay your head tonight. So thank you mom and dad for creating someone like so amazing. Like, A lot of y'all don't know me, my name's Dante. I first met Najee um, at ECC in West Caldwell. I remember it was winter classes all I see is this dude with a black shirt, black pants, fresh Air Force Ones, and um, I just say he fresh. And he looked at me, started laughing, and, I, and he said, I'm fresh too. I'm like, what you talking about? I'm bummy right now. He said, yeah, you bummy fresh. I just, when he said that, I just bust out laughing, because that's the first time I heard something like that. And then I seen him about two years ago at this point party. He was surprised to see me, you know, he just, he just hugged me, said how I'm doing, hope everything going good. And before I left, you know, he hugged me again, he said, yo, I hope you um, just live your life, smile, keep your head up, and everything like that. And um, when I heard the news that he was gone, you know, first thing I did was get on my knees and pray, you know, that, um, you know, he's in a better place now. My condolences go to him and his family. And um, we lost a good person at a very young age, and um, we, we don't want to do that. But, you know, like they say, things happen for a reason, but he's, he's up. He's up, he's there with the uh, man upstairs, so that's all right. really all I got to say. We want to talk because like, shit like this, sorry for my language, you know, I get emotional and everything. I actually talked to him like three days ago, before he, before he passed. We planned a trip together to, um, to Toronto, booked our flight, booked our Airbnb, everything. And the um, first time I heard it, I was with my boy Wills, and that shit broke me. Oh my God. He was just a good dude, man. Good dude. Positive. Always positive. Always with energy. Always with jokes. Always had Dominican jokes. Every joke's on me. <laughs> Miguel. <laughs> Miguel's the everything. Like, my spirit was down the whole time because Romeo was just doing some other So when I got, when we got there, I ran into Najee and Saint and down the strip, he was just yelling a whole bunch of stuff. Coming down, like the we go, everybody could hear him. What a gas nip! Like he just kept going there. <laughs> so automatically, I walked up and I, as soon as I got to them, my energy changed. And now I'm walking down the street yelling too. We lit. <laughs> <laughs> and then after a while, he just kept it going. I'm like, you're not Jeep, bro. You don't never get tired. <laughs> He's like, nah, I can't. <laughs> For the rest of that trip. Every, whatever he was doing, I ended up doing it. Cause that shit just changed everything for me. And from that thing on, that's just how it's been. Like, when I see Najee, I just got to know, it don't matter how I'm feeling, you gotta, you gotta get right. Cause he gonna get right.
when we did hang out and when we were at Waze, like it was always um, lit, you know, me and Bree. But um, I think we really need to, this summer, when you guys are going out, please be careful. This is the second person that I'm losing um, to a drunk driver hitting them. I don't know if people know Lil, but a couple months ago, he left because of a drunk driver too that hit him. So please just um, take that in. When you guys are getting lit this summer, you know, like shit, shit's real out here. So yeah, but Najee's definitely with us. And even though I didn't know him like that, he was just always lit. And even though I went off on him, <laughs> I was always going off on him of something, me and Bree and, and Tia, you know, we would just always go off and shit. But he was definitely a good person and he, have to, he definitely had a good heart. But, you know, keep your heads up. You know, God is with us. And like, you know, he, he really in a better place. You know, he with God, so. I'm at home. Najee, this hurts because we ended on like really bad terms and I never got the chance to apologize. And he was such a good friend to me. Whenever I needed him, he came for me. And it just hurts so bad. I was so mad at him for some bullshit. And I cut him off. And I'm so sorry, Naj. Like, he has never done nothing wrong to me. I don't think I could ever move on from this. This shit hurts. And just like, yo, when you have people yeah. close to you, appreciate them, you feel me? Cause, well, I can't ever forgive myself. I treat as such a good person like shit, and you feel me? And that's something I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of my life. And all this nigga do was show me love. When I was hungry, he fed me. When I was two hours away, he came and got me. All these all these guys right here, they were there for me, you feel me? And I just wanna apologize to anybody I hurt. Like, you feel me? I had time to go, and he didn't deserve that. And God bless your soul. I'm so happy to have known him. That's it, anyway. <laughs> You know, he did what he wanted to do, but that's what I liked about him, you know? He didn't care. Like, he was so carefree and so fun-spirited. If something bad happened, you know, he would always turn it around. And I really didn't want to come up here because I just feel so sick to my stomach. Like, it's, it's unreal. You know, it doesn't feel real at all. We all feel like we were just partying with him, you know, like last weekend or something. Everything was always a party. Right? Najee, he just always found a way to be there for everyone. And I always keep a smile on his face. And I love him so much. And I know we all did. And I know that he loved us. I met him when I work at St. Barnabas in 2017. And we used to talk on and off. But eventually that didn't work out and he became my best friend. <laughs> Like we literally shared everything. <laughs> I know the good and the bad about him. I know everyone he encountered with. I spoke to him like four days ago before he died. We was on the phone talking about how we was doing as we usually do because we spoke almost every day. And he told me that he was going to call me back because his mom had called him. And then I got the news and I was so heartbroken because he was such a good person. Whenever I'm sad, I could always call him and he made me laugh, like always, always, always. We even made plans to come, for me to come there so we could go to party because the last time when I was there, he just moved to Atlanta and we didn't know the place like that, so we didn't get to go much places, but while I was there, I still enjoyed myself. I don't know. I'm, I cannot, I cannot, like, I cannot believe that this is real. And I'm never gonna speak to him again, or ever see his face again. Because as much as we have a disagreement, I did love him. And I just wish I could see him one more time. I'm not, I'm not G's cousin. Um, I'm just I'm just happy everybody came out today so I can um, see his friends. I never knew it would be this much people. <laughs> I never, um, I, me and Naji grew up together. He's like a brother to me. Um, he used to live across the street when we were living on South Harrison. Um, we used to, he used to teach me GTA cheat codes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, um, 
I'm just glad to see everybody's faces, you know? I'm glad to see um, who he impacted. You touched a lot of people, bro. Right. Yeah. I'm glad. Right. I'm surprised, actually. I right. never knew there's some people who come out. So I'm about, on the behalf of me and my family, I'm glad that you know, everybody came out. He, I, I treated him like a brother, just like, you know, he was always just close. From Jamaica, I was visiting him. Came up to America, still visiting him. He would live right across the street from me. We went to the same high school together. <laughs> we end up, you know, he moved here to West Orange, and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, because I, I didn't, wasn't able to drive or do anything, it's always like, yo, I still want to keep in contact with him, and I, then I, I realized, like, yeah, he got he got his uh what was his his uh, father's car and he was like yo I'm about to shoot this thing up yeah. <laughs> and then I was like yeah man and I started talking to him about you know, modding the car and everything <laughs> and I'm like yo maybe uh I should spray paint the rims black <laughs> put the whole thing black tinted he was like yo he was like nah man you want? I'm like bro you about to get you about to get pulled over with that you crazy <laughs> it's like. And you Jamaican? I'm like, nah, bro, chill, chill. You, you, you try, you want, you asking for it and stuff. I'm like, and he keeps saying he all, he's always so happy, always happy, always so positive. And I'm like, you know, I got my car tinted now because he told me he was like, go ahead and do it, bro. And I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, and I just, I, uh, he, he, he's a very positive dude, and you know, I always knew he touched a lot of people. I, I was, uh. We both worked our first job together. Saved up to get my car, and I, you know, we was driving around. We 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 talked. I go visit him from time to time and everything, and um, just uh, he's always happy, go lucky. I know he. Ah. <clears throat> we even went to uh, go. We started working at St. Barnabas. I know there's some people here that works at St. Barnabas and everything, and he's like, I. I'm the type of guy that is just a lot of things weigh me down and every time I go and talk to my cousin, it's like a breath of fresh air. No matter what, it's like he's always happy coming coming in at work <clears throat> like that. Be like, I'm like, look, I'll be looking down, I'll be looking <laughs> looking all the way down the unit and I'm like, nah, that like who's that? As soon as I see him be doing this, I'm like, yeah, I know who that is. I know who that is. <laughs> And of course, walking down, walking down the unit, I always see, he always say, he's like, <clears throat> see a whole bunch of people, he, he just, so infectious, his, his infectious attitude is right just, word. just this, infectious like, right he can word, go and bro. talk to anybody that's right. around him, doesn't matter what, like, what they were working on or whatever, he, you know, especially in dietary and doing, like, where he's working, he just sees so much people, and I even had some patients that he was like, you know, <laughs> come up to me and just be like, yo, that, that guy right there, like, he just, bring some happiness into the into the room and everything man and um i truly will miss him i, I truly do every time he would just bust out like like we would have like goofy little freestyle battles at the lunch table like i know him at he'd be like my name naji i'm wavy i'm pretty you know what i'm saying all these ladies want me oh man you know what i'm saying like he was like a walking like meme. Like he was great. Like, he, he was wonderful, bro, honestly. You I dab him up. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Dwayne Wade. Yeah. 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 Honestly, but, yeah, wait, wait, but like yeah. everyone else was saying, yeah, we been yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, what it Pretty boy yeah. swag. That was him. Yeah. Swag, right. Honestly. And like everyone else was saying, like he'll uplift you and like the most unusual ways like I don't want to do this to myself but like he'll see my hairline how it is now and like he will legitimately be like damn bro you fresh as hell like you know what I'm saying like he'll still do it like he was just an optimistic turn up fun dude man and honestly man it just it hurt me more because I know I was never like super close to him but like people who are who I'm closer with were closer to him so seeing them hurt it, it dragged me down and brought me to, you know, some tears, bro. <laughs> but like, just seeing like the love that he managed to, uh, you know, push out between all of us, man, it makes it makes it better, you know. Because right. literally every single time I get down about this, I just think of him saying, "Come to my backyard," you know what I'm saying? And, then, <laughs> and I just started, I started dying. I'm my name Naji. I just started dying. Bro. <laughs> so literally, just thinking about that keeps me like 
able to laugh about it, man. Long live Najee. All right. I was never close to Najee like that. I met him through Saint. But uh, when I first met him, like, Rully got to know him. We used to roast each other. <laughs> like, we both some greasy niggas, so. <laughs> so. But um, everybody knew Najee as Jamaican, and he only had one move that. They know about the tight hands that you can barely move. But um, yeah, but um, this hits us hard because East West Orange is very young. Like we never want to see none of us go. But we have to learn how to be kind like him, positive. We have to learn how to forgive like him. Yes, you. I never, I never thought it was gonna come to this, come to this day. You know, um, we got. We met him um, in 2008. And, um, same grade, everything. He um, like he was the loudest person in the um, hallways, everything. Loudest. I went to prom with him in the same level as him. I remember his parents got mad because we came too late. But, you know, so I, he was like, he was like I, I shook his hand. He was like, I'm still mad at you. But, like, I remember um, my dad, oh my God, used to scream at him all the time. He, he came to my house a thousand times. You know, you know, we were always like, friends, like, very close friends, everything. Um, my dad used to be mad at him all the time. But then my dad was in the hospital like in 2015. And he took care, and he took care of my father. He took care of my father. My dad used to run him out of our house. He just used to take care of him. He took care of him. Um, Oh, you know, um, I, I was with him like eight weeks ago in, in, in Miami. Miami. You know, he mad positive, took over the whole whole South Beach. I never seen anything <laughs> like it, man. Savage <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. boy. I, I have a thousand videos, man. He took that place over, man. And he made sure I had a good time. We had a great time, man. And I never, I, I remember I ate with him. I ate with him before. I'm sorry, man. I cried so much when I heard this. Um, I ate one of them right before we left each other. I said, I'm gonna see you later, man. I'm, uh, I'm gonna come up to uh, Atlanta. I'm gonna come up to Atlanta. I'm gonna come up to Atlanta the 29th this month. I'm gonna see you, bro. Call me. But I hate that this happened to you, bro. I hate it because I was, I was just miss you, bro. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm to told you I love you, bro, before. I, if I left you, man, I'm sorry, man. Maybe it's, uh, I, I couldn't make it. Uh, I couldn't make it either. I, I wish I could see it, but I couldn't, I couldn't make it. I, couldn't make I, it met him, I met him 10 years ago. I remember in gym, and the thing I noticed about him since the beginning is that he was never afraid. He was never afraid. He was always bold. Yeah. I'm, uh, times I struggled with that stuff. And I'm like, how can you just be so like, bold, so confident all the time? Something we can all take from this is just life's too short to be afraid to live in fear. We should oh, never limit yourself. Always be brave. I, I, I can I congratulate everyone that came up here and said something because it's hard. And then I'm happy y'all were strong enough to come here and say something. This is my family here, Jennifer Ryan Brandon. I must say that when I heard a message that you passed, it was. It was not bad. Who just. <laughs> The way he died, it was terrible. I mean, uh, it really hurts because he was with us. You know how not yet, yeah, the Jordan was with us just last year. And I think he's 24. He's gone. I can't you. Jordan and Nadia came by our house. We are um, Jennifer Clark, is my cousin. Mm. I'm Jennifer also, and she's Jennifer. Mm. So these are my two boys, my husband and myself. Um, Najee and Jordan came by my house last year. Um, for which month? For the highlight festival. Do you think they can stay by my house? I said, absolutely. My, my doors are open up, open to, um, to, to, to both of them. So they came up, they spent a week, yeah. a week with us, and um, they, Jordan and Najee, took, took charge of the basement. They were in the basement by themselves, and um, they just, had a great time staying with us and um, before they left to go back home, I held both of them and I prayed over both of them and just hoping that they would get back safely back to, um, to Georgia. So two young people driving back home, you know, as a mom, I have 
concerns and I just keep praying over them just that they get home safely and I keep make sure I pack food for them so they don't have to go hungry and just keep a close check on them that they get home safely and I just want all of you to know that each day that you wake up you just have to be very grateful be grateful when you wake up in the morning be grateful when you come amongst your, your peers, your friends. Just be grateful that you see them. And in the midst of them, always give them a hug, a smile. Just like Najee, he gives positive vibes all the time. I don't know any one of you, but at least I stand here and I hear all, everything about positivity. So my thing is that somebody may say something that's not pleasant to you. It's trivial. Anything negative thoughts is trivial. Make up, put that behind you, hug, and move on because life is short. It's very short. So never ever take it for granted. And my family and I, we say thank you so very much for coming out to pay your respect here. I'm going to be flying down next week on the 24th to be with, um, with the family in Georgia because his mom is there losing it and um, we are cousins but we are like sisters. sisters and I'm going to be going down there and of course my son um, had actually videotaped it and she's on uh, the phone watching what's going on and I really really and we all from the bottom of my heart really appreciate this but um let me just cut you but please the summer is coming please don't drink and drive yes this this is caused by a drunk driver this could have been avoided Yes. Please. So summer is coming up. A young lady did say that earlier. So please, you can have all the fun you want to have, but make sure it's safe. safe. Right. Nobody's saying you can't have fun, but have safe fun. Right. Because at the end of the day, you do crazy things. You only have regrets. Why did I do that? Right. So just have fun, but make sure it's safe fun. G, to me, back in the day, we grew up together. And every time we was together, he always made me smile and always made me laugh. And it just hurts that I lost somebody that can't do that anymore. And that really was my friend. We shared our experiences together and always bonded it out. And I miss him. Yes. And I know he knows that. And I'm just still hurt. I love you, King Wave. You know, I a lot of people have uh, been talking about the experiences they had and a lot of partying going on, a lot of positivity, but you know, a lot of things go along with this positivity and it's not only the waves, the people he touched, but you know, I really got mad at night. I really, he annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, no, for real. <laughs> You know, no, nah, but you know, I gotta express myself. But That's I understand, good. I understand. Yeah. But um, however, um, he he would literally understand our friendship because it wasn't no like yeah we, yeah it was that. But at the same time, but it was let's let's see how to get ahead. You know, I do music and um, he always believed in me. We would sit in the car and we would uh, play these successful tapes and just listen to it. It wasn't always all oh, let's turn up. Hey right, yo, if I'm outside like. Let's play this tape. Let's listen to it. I didn't want y'all only to remember him for the turn up. I wanted y'all to remember his his need to, to do better. His want to do better. Yes. It wasn't only the turn up, because I heard a lot of turn up, yeah, yeah, yeah. But his want to do better. I'm not really one of those people where I could really just cut off with my ex and then just call him off and like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, you good? Yeah? <laughs> No, I wasn't, I wasn't one of those, but I'm seeing from all the people that spoke that he was. Maybe there's value in that. Maybe there's value more than just the, the pleasure. You know what I'm saying? So I want to also remember that in a big thing, a, a big thing. I, I need y'all to learn. Like, if y'all want to take something from this, if y'all want to keep his name alive, first of all, keep positive first. Yes. Keep positive keep first. Positive keep positive right. first and laugh at yourself because it's not that serious, bro. It's for you, my boy. It's for you. It's for you, my boy. It's for you. The wavy son, the waviest nigga alive. I'm sorry, excuse my language, but I gotta say it, baby. All right? Waviest nigga alive. Ever.
Wave. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you again.